G'day, I'm Nev Sweeney and this is Under the Choco Tree. This week I want to talk to you about a method of putting together a solar food dryer, which is quick, easy and also very, very cheap. Enables you to take that excess produce that you're um, pumping out of your productive vegetable gardens and preserve them for later without the need to add anything uh, in the way of brines or um, vinegar or anything like that. Uh, just dry them out keep them in a, uh, a cool dry place and they'll last for months. Uh, this uses only the power of the sun uh, to dry them out and it's a direct dehydrator. That is to say that the sun's rays strikes the food that you're trying to preserve directly rather than offset where it heats up uh, and it's only the, uh, the hot air that gets passed through. Um, we use both kinds here. Um, this is a direct one and uh, at some stage in the future I'll show you what an indirect one looks like. So this is a polystyrene fruit veggie box. You can pick up um, for nothing. They get tossed out. They're a waste. And what we're going to do is turn it into a food dryer uh, so that you can use it to preserve your fruit and veggies. So because the sides are so high, um, unless the sun's that are you know, going overhead or something, um, you're going to need to cut one side down a bit to give better solar access. So what I'm going to do is cut it down on an angle so that the front is going to be about um, half the depth that it is at the back. It's really handy if you can get hold of a stainless steel rule like this because it comes in handy not only for marking, but when you're actually doing the cutting. Advertising. Gets everywhere. So now you can see that it's all marked up appropriately. The next thing to do is cut it. Uh, there are a number of ways of cutting it. You can use a really sharp knife or a hacksaw or something and it makes a damn awful mess. So what I'm going to use is a hot wire cutter, which will uh, give us quite a, uh, quite a nice job. It's really uh, quick and easy. You can pick them up at, uh, at hobby shops. So by lining it up using the the rule, you can just slide the slide the hot wire cutter along the surface of the rule, and it keeps the line nice and straight. Okay, so you can see there. That one. A, uh, a nice little cut made works very very well okay so it's all cut now it comes quite easily one of the uh, one of the other advantages of using polystyrene is that it's also uh, an insulator so it'll help to retain the, the sun's heat uh, you'll also notice that there are lots of holes already in it um, they were there when I bought it to allow the, uh, the hot air to come up, take the uh, moisture away from the food and then move out through the top. So one of the problems that we've got is, however, that it's a nice bright white inside which is going to reflect the heat rather than absorb it. So uh, what we generally need to do is to put a black coating on the inside, uh, matte black preferably. Uh, one of the issues you can find if you want to use paint is that most of the paint that it's available in matte black is solvent based so it's going to start eating into the polystyrene as soon as you put it on. Um, however I have found an exception and that is blackboard paint. So we apply a coat of blackboard paint to the inside. So here's one I prepared earlier. Nice black inside. Uh, I'm ready to look at putting something over the top 
so that the heat gets trapped in here and can build up uh, and help dry the, uh, uh, the fruit and veggies much better. And what I originally did was just got some cardboard and some plastic, use the cardboard as a, uh, a surround, cut the plastic to size and then taped one over the top of the other, sat it on top and away it worked. And it worked quite well, but uh, I happened to be walking past a house where they had a whole stack of stuff out to go to the tip and one of the things they had was some old glass. And I picked this up and as luck would have it, it's, uh, it's almost an exact fit. So keep an eye out, um, if you can get glass, the plastic works, the glass works better uh, and it also stays clearer. This is what I put in place to, uh, to dry things off, it's basically just a, uh, a cake error uh, with some metal uh, fly screen over the top if you've got small bits, if you've got large bits you don't even need to do that. So the idea being, it sits in the bottom, the food sits on top of that, the glass sits on, sun comes in, warms it up, air heats up, comes out the top and fresh air comes in taking the moisture with it and uh, given a few hours depending upon what sort of food it is that you want to dry um, you wind up with some dry tomatoes or whatever. Now I have noticed I had been talking about uh, drying fruit and vegetables um, if you want to dry meat and make jerky and that sort of thing you need to go through every single opening needs to be screened off because if it's not screened off or not screened off well enough flies will find how to get in. Um, talking about that from experience, not good. So generally this works really well as it is for fruit and veg without a problem, uh, but if you want to do meat there's some extra work that you're going to have to do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.